This video is an overview of sales and distribution module as per SCM 600. To create a new customer, use transaction code XD01 and press enter. You need to select the account group which is sold to party. The customer number, if this is an external number. The company code. The sales organization, distribution channel and division. Press enter. On the general data of the customer, you need to give the title, the name of the customer, you can also give a search term, a search term help when you need to look for a specific customer or a group of customer. Next, you can give the street address. Go ahead and give the complete address of the customer. A transportation zone helps in planning the shipment and logistics of the sales and distribution module. The contact information can also be given. If your customer is also your vendor, you can give that information. Otherwise, click on the company code data. A reconciliation account also need to be given for a specific customer. You can then select the sales area data. On, the, on these screens, you can basically give the details related to customer. On the shipping tab, the mandatory field is the shipping condition. A shipping condition specify if the order is a high priority or a normal order. So basically as much information as you give about a customer, it will eventually help in the order processing. You can then save the customer. If any information is missing, it will prompt you to enter that information. In this case, the sales tax information was missing. Select the relevant option and try to save the customer again. The customer number will be generated. And you will be prompt back to the original screen of the customer. To create a new material, use transaction code MM01 and press enter. Select the industry type, the material type, and press enter. You can also select the select view. Here you select the basic data, the sales data,
you can select the general plant data storage location the accounting and the costing views and press enter here you need to give the organizational data of the material the organizational data is the plant the storage location the sales organization and distribution channel you then press enter on the finished good material you need to give the material description the basic unit of measure this is the smallest unit of measure in which you maintain your inventory you can give the division you can also give the material group or you can select from the drop down list a material group is a group or a combination of material logically grouped together You can also give additional information that is available with you. You can give the weight, the volume, and the dimension if you have them. On the basic data too, no information is mandatory, so we'll proceed to the sales view. The division has already been given. If you have additional information that can help in the sales order processing, you can give at this stage. You need to give the tax category. That is, if the customer is liable to tax or not. On the sales organization data too, the item categories are automatically selected. On the general data, much of the information is automatically copied but if there's any additional information it will be highlighted in this case the transportation group is a mandatory field a transportation group is how you would like the goods to be transported similarly the loading group a loading group specifies how the material need to be loaded when it is ready for transportation so in this case if this is a crane forklift or a manual loading then you need to specify If there is any sales text related information you can give at this stage so whenever a customer will place an order the sales text will automatically be copied from this point onward Select the plant data view. No information is mandatory, but if you have the information available, you can incorporate at this stage. On the accounting view, 
you need to give the valuation class as well as the material price in this case a standard price has been selected on the costing view there is no information that is mandatory so you can finally go ahead and save the material the material number will automatically be generated to create the condition master use transaction code VK31 and press enter Condition master is a combination of material and the customer and specify what will be the price. So here you see different condition master that can be created. Condition can be created with respect to material, customer or a group of material. A condition can also be a surcharge or it can also be tax or some other freight or discount. In our case, we are going to create a condition for material price. Click on and the relevant option will be available. Click on the icon, which is for the condition type for sales organization, distribution channel and material. Here, the condition type need to be selected. You can use the drop down menu to select the condition type available. Select the condition type price. And specify the material which was previously created in the last video you need to give the amount so now whenever sales order for this material will be created the system will automatically picks up the price go ahead and save the condition master and system will prompt that it has been created to create an inquiry from a customer use transaction code VA11 and press enter you need to give the inquiry type the other organizational data like sales organization division distribution channel can be given Here, the previously created customer number can be given. If the customer have a specific purchase order, you can give at this stage. Next, you need to give the material for which the customer have raised the inquiry. In our case, the previous video highlighted the same material being used now. You need to give the quantity of the inquiry and any other detail which is available with the customer. You will notice that the price has automatically come in. Next, select the incompletion log and see if any information is missing from the inquiry. If all information is complete, you can proceed to save the inquiry. Otherwise, you can enter additional information. In this case, if you know the reason why the customer has raised the inquiry, you can give at this stage. Save the inquiry and the inquiry number will be generated. To 
create a quotation for a customer use transaction code BA21 and press enter. You need to give the quotation type. You can also create a quotation with reference to an inquiry. So in the last video we created the inquiry and we will use the same inquiry for the creation of quotation. Give the inquiry number and press enter. All the information from the inquiry will automatically be copied onto the quotation. This saves an enormous time and effort into creating a quotation. You need to give the validity of the quotation. You can check the quotation for completeness. If any information is missing, the system will prompt. In this case, this information is missing. So you need to fill this up one by one. You can double click to fill the inf missing information. Here the payment terms as well as the INCO terms were missing. Read check to see if any additional information is missing. If the document is complete, the system will prompt. You can give additional information like delivering plant and then proceed to save the quotation. A quotation number will be generated when the quotation is saved. To create a sales order, use transaction code VA01 and press enter. A sales order type has to be given. You can independently create a sales order or you can create it with reference to an inquiry or a quotation. In this case, we will use the reference. We are using the reference of quotation to create a sales order. Press enter. All the information from the quotation has been automatically copied. If at this stage you have additional information related to the sales order or of the customer, you can incorporate that. Notice that the price has also been automatically copied. You can check for incompletion log. If the document is complete, the system will prompt. You 
can then proceed to sale, save the sales order and a sale order number will be generated. The next step is the post could issue against the sales order. You can use transaction code VA02 and press enter. Give the sales order number. Select the line item, go on the menu sales document and you can click on the deliver option at this stage. This is one of the options to deliver to a customer, but we will use a separate transaction code for post good issuance. This transaction code is VL02N and press enter. Here you give the outbound delivery number and you can click on the post good issue. It is important to add that the material must have the inventory available for the post good issue to be successfully conducted. Next, we will show you a report on the stock list. The transaction code was MB5B and here you give some information related to the material and click on the execute icon. You will notice that for there was an initial upload of six, three quantity and against a sales order, a quantity of two has been issued out as a post code issue. When you double click on that, in addition to having the material document information, click on the document info and then click on the icon FI documents. The FI document is the financial document. In other words, it provides you the complete detail of the financial entries once the post good issue was undertaken. The last step for the sales process is the creation of billing document. You can use a sales order transaction VA02 to create a billing document or you can use a separate transaction code to create a billing document. On the sales order, click on the sales document and you can use the billing option from the sales order. Another option is to separately use the billing document and the transaction code is VF01. Here the post code issue document has been used as a reference. Select that document and you save and a billing document will automatically be created. A billing document number will be generated. Next, check out the financial details of the billing document. Use transaction code VF03 and press enter. And here the accounting document of the billing document will be available with you for you to review.
finally we will check and see what is the overall status in the sales order use transaction code VA03 and press enter enter the sales order number click on the icon subsequent document or the document flow here you can notice that the complete and comprehensive detail is available on the sales order starting from the initial inquiry to the quotation to the sales order to the transfer note the post code issuance the invoice all information is comprehensively available on the sales order